Good morning. It's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. I'm sure you're having a good day. Yeah, it's a beautiful Tuesday in the city of Ilori, um, Kwara State, Nigeria. Okay, so today's topic on Tuesday Inspiration with Toby is understanding speed. Understanding speed. You know, speed means a lot of things to different people. It can mean moving from one place to the other, moving... Um, from this point to another you know but the truth is we need to know what the word speed is about you know speed can simply mean moving in a very fast space and um, pace moving in a very fast pace meaning that you're doing it like there's a lot of acceleration there's high level of acceleration and you're moving towards a particular direction for example there might be speed if there is chaos here now everybody tries to run and you know move at a very high speed not knowing where they're going to you know we sometimes in our life just focused on how things should go uh, but we do not really know if we're supposed to learn on our way to becoming successful so we just move at a very fast pace you know i want to make money today i want to do this today i must achieve this in the next five years i must do this i must get some money i must you know we just keep moving we keep moving without focusing on what is there to be learned you know as much as it is interesting for us to move at a very high speed in our lives as humans we just need to understand that we cannot just be moving in a very high speed and not gaining a lot of things not gaining so much not thinking of oh yes i want to do this how do i get there what are the things i need to be mindful of you just would understand with me and agree with me that if one is on the track if an athlete is on the track if there's a track and field um, race and the athlete is trying to um move at a very high speed he wants to move faster than his co-athletes so he has to move at a very high speed but before he can move at a very high speed he would have gone through some constant training there will be some wears and tears there will be some muzzle uh, pulls there will be a lot of issues with leg but you know consistency and hard work would make that person to um, do so well in the race but you would also know that on a track if an athlete wants to run they already mapped out um, rules there are lines that you must follow once you move out of the track you are no longer on track and no matter how fast you run off the track once you even get to the finish line you would be disqualified or it will not even be noticed that you actually run a race so you definitely have to understand that you need to move in the right direction you have to follow the guidelines of success you can't just move anyhow you can't just um think that yes you just be moving anyhow you can just go off track then you would also get there you know some people say there are a lot of shortcuts to success there's no shortcut um, shortcut to success if you want to be successful you have to follow through and believe in yourself believe in the process um very well we need to clearly understand that having speed in every area of our life is important but it requires that we remain on track it requires that we're focused it requires that we're people who are zealous we it requires that we're people who must understand that as the athletes will do that if i am on the right track if i am moving at a very high speed on the right track and I the focus is to reach that finish line at so so time and getting the the, the 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 gold medal then you would begin to align your life to something to, to a way that you'd be so successful in no distant time so you definitely have to know that success um, isn't determined by how fast you run it doesn't really mean if you get to a place before me then you think that you'll be more successful you might get there fast with shortcuts and whatever you call it but you might not be successful at the end of the day so you need to understand that you have to be somebody who has strength you have to be somebody who has courage you have to be somebody who has zeal and you have to be somebody who has to 
have that mindset of I must fight to finish. This quote is from Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi said, There is more to life than simply increasing its speed. There is more to life than simply increasing its speed. The second quote is from Steve Goodyear. Steve Goodyear said, It is a mistake to think that moving fast is the same as actually going somewhere. It is a mistake to think that moving fast is the same as actually going somewhere. If you're moving at a very high speed, where exactly are you going to? What are you trying to achieve? That should be what would be at the back of your mind. I know that you will win. I know that you'll be successful. But I know that more importantly, you have to understand what speed means and you have to Move in a meaningful um, direction. So it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. I'm sure that this would inspire you. And I'm sure that you would understand speed. And just take your time to get to that desired um, sp spot. And become the best version of you. So see you next week Tuesday on another interesting topic. I love you guys so well. Please understand your speed. And follow your process properly. And don't get off track. Stay on track. The finish line should be in mind. And you will achieve the unimaginable. See you next week Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. Bye.